Hey, my name is Maria and I'm a documentation manager here at HiTouch. In this video, you'll learn more about HiTouch's architecture. Specifically, we'll talk about different ways of connecting your data sources to HiTouch, how HiTouch securely handles your data, and how HiTouch performs change data capture. When connecting a data source to HiTouch, you have the option to directly connect over the public internet or via an SSH tunnel. Since data is encrypted in transit via TLS, a direct connection is adequate for most use cases. But you may need to set up a tunnel if your source is on a private network or virtual private cloud. HiTouch supports both standard and reverse SSH tunnels. Moving on to our security practices, HiTouch complies with SOC 2 Type 2, HIPAA, GDPR, CCPA, and Privacy Shield. In addition to these certifications, we use automated vulnerability scanning in our platform and have regular third-party penetration testing. Customer data only flows through HiTouch infrastructure during active syncs. After sending data to downstream destinations, HiTouch stores request and response payloads for logging and debugging purposes. You can choose to store these logs in your own cloud storage on business tier plans, so no customer data is stored at rest on HiTouch managed infrastructure. Let's talk a little bit about how HiTouch performs change data capture starting with why we do it and what it is. If HiTouch were to send all query results from a model at every sync, we'd likely be overwriting values that don't need updating. To prevent making excessive API requests and send only necessary updates to your destinations, HiTouch uses a process called change data capture. Whenever a new sync is triggered, HiTouch compares the previous sync run before sending the next data set. The comparison shows what has changed in the source data since the last run. The process of finding the difference between data sets is commonly referred to as diffing or change data capture. HiTouch keeps a record of the data that was sent during the previous sync. This record is called the diff file. When a new sync runs, HiTouch refers to the diff file to identify what has changed. With the standard sync engine, the diffing compute is done by HiTouch managed infrastructure and the diff file is stored there. Alternatively, diffing can be done entirely in your warehouse with the Lightning sync engine. The computing is done within the source warehouse and the diff file is stored there. This achieves faster syncs at higher volumes. Setting up the Lightning Sync Engine is slightly more complex since it requires granting HiTouch read and write access to your warehouse as compared to read-only access. Depending on your use case's volume, the performance gains may require it. To wrap up, this video covered the two ways to connect sources to HiTouch, either directly via the public internet or via an SSH tunnel or reverse SSH tunnel. Regarding data security, HiTouch follows cloud security best practices and is compliant with most security certifications. You can choose to store all logs on your own infrastructure so that no data is stored at rest when using HiTouch. We also went over change data capture or diffing. By default, HiTouch does the diffing computation and stores the diff file on HiTouch managed infrastructure. Using the Lightning Sync Engine, you can use your own warehouse for the diff file and computation. That's it for now. Visit HiTouch.com to learn more, book a demo, or jump right in. Thanks for watching.